Look at this thing, guys. Check his teeth out. It yeah, looks exactly like a rodent. He's got these. He's got these long whiskers that he'll probably use to sense out things. And look at those teeth for real. Oh my goodness. We are back and we're doing some iguana removal. We're back at the job. Our goal today, guys, is to try to get 10 iguanas in the bag with the air rifle. If we do, we're gonna try to get you guys some nice footage. But I've also seen a lot of squirrels out here and I've heard these squirrels can be really good, right? I got a super good recipe for them, my guy. We're gonna be working out here. We're gonna be trying to remove the iguanas. But if we see a squirrel, guys, we might just harvest one so we can do a catch, clean, and cook. We've been seeing a lot of stuff online, how they're tasty, how they're really good. And on top of that, FBL says that squirrels are the second leading cause for power outages. So out here, you know, in Miami, there's a lot of power outages from iguanas and et cetera. And squirrels are actually, you know, chewing on the cables. Yeah. Backing up three, two, one. Let's go. Got him. Oh, he's, he's coming down. Oh, there he is. That's a good eater, right? Good eater, dude. Good eater. I'll skin him. I know how to skin him and everything. All right, perfect. Perfect, y'all. Awesome, awesome. I never had one before, so I'm looking forward, forward to the little... Uh, Squirrel and dumplings, y'all. Squirrel and dumplings, y'all. You gonna try some squirrel and dumplings? Ninja. I feel like you know the answer. I think the answer is yes, Bryce. I'm gonna try some squirrel and dumplings. Hell no, nah, Bryce. Some southern you're style. Own, you're on your own with that one. Southern style squirrel and dumplings. How about if I give you a little pelt? You gonna keep the pelt in your room for the rest of your life? Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> I'll give you the pelt. I'll salt it for you. Put a nice salt brine on it. That's good. <laughs> that sounds awesome. I can't wait. I've never had one of those before. <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna be with one of my buddies. He got a pest control company out there. Okay. He's gonna run us around a couple of, you know, a couple of spots and stuff. We'll see you, we'll see you there in a second, right? Yeah. So as you guys see here in Florida, guys, there's different kind of game. Uh, we got the invasive green iguanas. And right here, guys, I just harvested my first squirrel. Right. Look at this thing, guys. Check his teeth out. It yeah, looks exactly like a rodent. He's got these. He's got these long whiskers that he'll probably use to sense out things. And look at those teeth for real. Oh my goodness. Whoa, dude, you wouldn't want to get bit by that. Yeah, I've never touched a squirrel before. And then he's got this really cool tail. I'm pretty sure he uses this tail to help him keep balance while he's jumping along. And he's got this really nice fur. But what I, from what I've heard, guys, squirrels are really, really tasty. Apparently, they eat them all over. Louisiana, Texas, Georgia, guys. Squirrels are very popular and very good. So I'm really excited to try my first squirrel. Stay tuned, guys. We'll show you guys the whole cleaning process right now. Here, um, it's a nice, healthy specimen. So I think it's gonna definitely be worth the catch and cook. So maybe if you're unaware of it, but this is a way they've been doing it for centuries, guys. You got the oil bubbling right there, check it out. We have our squirrel, AKA tree rat right here, fresh to clean. We're gonna go ahead and start seasoning them up. Get them ready for the fryer. Now, if it tastes good on hamburgers, it's a good chance it's gonna taste good on any kind of meat, including some freshly caught squirrel. So we're gonna go ahead and get them with that seasoning, make sure inside. This is a complete seasoning. It's got salt in it, it's got pepper, it's got oregano. It's got a little bit of everything, guys. But make sure we get all that good stuff right there. Give them a nice massage. Let the meat get nice and happy, guys. That's what you want. You want it nice and happy. Okay. Uh, some oven baked pork seasoning mix. If it's good for pork, chances are, like I said, it's gonna be good for some squirrel now. Put that bag open like that. Boom. Sprinkle it on the squirrel inside of them. Okay, let them roll around in there for a little bit. Get it all up inside there. Coat them. Just like that, guys. Beautiful, beautiful.
okay? Make sure he's nice and coated. I think he's good, y'all. I think that oil is nice and hot, so let's go ahead and uh, dip our squirrel right here in this fresh oil. All right, guys. Three, two, one. Just like that. Perfect. All right. We're going to let him do his thing on that side, y'all. And then we're going to flip them in about seven to eight minutes, okay? Then we got a little meat thermometer. We want the meat to be exactly 165 degrees or warmer to know he's well done. So stay tuned. All right, we just flipped it. Kind of did curl. Weird. Kind of like a shrimp. You know when you cook shrimp, they start curling? And do his thing. And we will be back, guys, okay? This is absolutely insane. I'm not even quite sure how it's going to taste, guys. For all I, all I know, this might be absolutely disgusting. But there's only one way to find out. I've never eaten a rodent. And this is going to be the first time, guys. This is the first time for everything. Let's try it out, guys. Fresh squirrel. Coming soon. Stoned them. All right, guys. So it's been about 20 minutes. The squirrel is nice and crispy, as you guys can see. He he kind of curled up like a shrimp. But we're gonna go ahead. Ooh, look at that crispy skin, dude. Just like bacon. Oh yeah, dude. Get that. Oh yeah, he's cooked all the way through, boys and girls. We're gonna... Yeah, the skin is just like a like a piece of pork, guys, just cutting through it. That's how it feels like. Let's see if we can get a nice little. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness, look at that meat, boys. Wow. Look at that meat right there. Wow. That looks really good. I ain't even gonna lie. Surprising looking, right, Ninja? Not surprised enough to try it, though. Just tell me what you think, though. Hmm, it smells like pork. No. Comment down below if you think Ninja should try this squirrel, y'all. Come on now. Get Ninja to start trying squirrels, rabbits, all kinds of crazy animals. Hashtag. Hashtag you can do it, Ninja. Hashtag you, you can, can do, do it, Ninja. It, ninja. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice hashtag. <laughs> Not this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'll try a small piece. Okay, we, the, you can do it, Ninja. Perfect. 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 So guys, Ninja's just gonna, he... Oh wait, that's all fat? That's all fat, dude. Alright, let me, let me... Alright, so I'm going off that this looks like pork. That's the only reason why... I'm... Oh, come on. Yeah, it's got that real, like, kind of, like, thick. Yeah, it's like... Alright. You wanna go ahead and put some ranch on it, too, bro? No, nah, no, nah, I don't even like ranch. <laughs> I hate ranch. Ranch is good on everything. There we go. That's, that's a nice little piece for you to try right there, Ninja. Yeah, I'm on. Let's try a little ting, na, Bud, na see. Wow, that does. Oh shit, sorry. That smells like pork. Oh man. Oh my gosh. Oh. Yeah. You serious? Word. I just can't look at it. The skin. The fat part is just a little crunchy where it can scratch your... I'm gonna go ahead and try a leg with the foot on it. I don't think I'm gonna try the foot, but I'm gonna see about this beautiful yeah. piece of meat right here. This is where they use all their energy to jump, to run. And as you guys can see in the wild, the squirrels, man, they can jump from power line to power line, tree branch to tree branch. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is gonna be that perfect protein, that perfect muscle. Uh, I can't wait to try it, dude. Let's get right into it. Mmm. 
delicious. Mm. I can't. It's so good. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds crispy, dude. Mm, yeah. Nice and crispy. The outside is almost like a pork rind. Yeah. You know, it's it's delicious. The fat and the skin is super crispy. And then the meat is super tender, but it's... It has like, that minerally taste. Yeah, 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 yeah. That minerally taste that you were talking about, Iguana Man, and this wild game. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. And that's what really brings out the flavor, y'all. Yeah, boys are rating it pretty high, and I knew it was going to be tasty just by looking at it, but can't believe I'm actually about to try my first ever rodent. Yo, with, this would be good with some rice. Honestly, like some rice, that would be very good with some rice. Let it simmer into your taste buds first. Oh yeah. You see where I'm talking about with the pork thing? Just a little bit though, it's a mixture. Wow, okay. Off rip, it's not gamey. Um, very clean flavor, slight minerally tasting. The fat is sweet. There's a sweetness to it, and, and that's why I projected from the fat. What are they eating all day? Acorns, fruits, and other nuts. The uh, the meat to me tastes like tastes like pork, like Ninja's saying, like Bryce is saying. Tastes like pork. It's very savory. It's not foul tasting. Bryce is already on his other piece right there. <laughs> <laughs> and I think adding that, keeping that skin on, guys, like like definitely made it more succulent guys it would have been probably dry and all tough and stuff yeah, like that super juicy yeah and it's super juicy we seasoned it just very minimally guys just so we can have the natural flavor of the squirrel and honestly guys i mean hmm, tastes better than i thought it was uh to be honest with you this, this the fat is so buttery guys yeah i did that when i put it in my mouth it would have been like but it's not bad at all. It's really not. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it's really not at all. Like, mm -hmm. and, and coming from a Caribbean person, like it's really not that bad. Like I'm very upset that I've been looking at squirrel this whole time, and I could have popped one. Exactly. And ate one when I when I was hungry. So change the stigma, you guys. Comment down below if you guys would ever try this tree rodent, y'all. It's it was super delicious to say the least. I don't know why not everybody's going out there and harvesting them. They're in your local parks. They're in your local neighborhoods. Get yourself an air rifle or even a catch and pull they're or everywhere. a trap and go out there and get them Look yourselves. At Look at this, guys. And if you fry it deep hole with the, with the skin on, it's going to be crispy on the outside and it's going to be so juicy in the inside, guys. That fat right there, guys, is like full cream butter, guys. Absolutely <laughs> delicious. <laughs> mm. You honestly shouldn't, like, say... You're not gonna eat anything or try something if you haven't tried it yet. Always try it once, guys. And if you're you have a mature palate, you always try it twice. Just Yo, to make sure you confirm what the first taste was. I've been like that my whole life, and I just I just had to try it. Like I just had to. Had exactly. To. How are you gonna know if you don't like something if you haven't tried it before, dude? Look at this meat right here, guys. Look at that meat, just like a piece of pork, guys. You got in intermuscular fat, very nice white meat. It's so tender, guys. So juicy. So flavorful. Cooked perfectly, Bryce. What'd you think, Bryce? Delicious. Perfectly. It's almost like um, dark meat on chicken. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's got it's real it's got flavorful that. and real juicy, you know? Wow. If I would have known squirrels were this tasty, to be honest with you, <laughs> I would have been hunting squirrels. <laughs> but I want to give a huge shout out to everybody at home uh, for um, helping me reach this far. Guys, we've accomplished a lot this year, and we have a lot of other things to do in the future. So drop a comment. Let me know what you guys want to see me do next. What other animals you guys want to see me harvest and target. And what other catch and cooks you guys want to see on this channel. Guys, it's the Iguana Man. We've got Outdoor Bryce right here. Iguana Ninja. We will see you guys on the next episode.